Hello. Since this is the first in the series of videos I'll be doing conducting a critical analysis of the Bible, I thought there was no better place to start than with the Genesis creation account. Now, everyone who studied the Bible is aware that Genesis says the universe, the earth, and life were created over a six-day period. Now, a caveat here, there are some religious groups, such as Jehovah's Witnesses, the one in which, the one in which I was raised, that say those days weren't literal 24-hour days, but were creative periods that could have lasted from thousands to millions of years. This isn't actually in accord with the Bible, however, and I'm going to prove that. It isn't hard to do. In the book of Genesis, I'll be reading out of the King James Version from chapter 1 and verses 4 and 5. It tells exactly how long those creative days were supposed to be. It says, And God saw the light that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness, and God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were a first day. And it goes on chronologically to say evening and morning, second day, evening and morning, third day. So obviously it's talking here not about long creative periods lasting thousands to millions of years, but six literal days. So, is this true? It wouldn't be surprising if someone writing thousands of years ago had little understanding of the universe. There was no modern science at the time, but fortunately there is now. There are many different fields of science that have given some kind of date regarding the age of something. For instance, astrophysics has determined that the universe is approximately 14 billion years old. Geology states that the Earth is, I believe, some four and a half billion years old. Life has been around for hundreds of millions of years. We humans have evidently been around some 100,000 years, according to anthropology. Some forms of dating are difficult for us to understand. Uh, Christians, particularly young Earth creationists, have attacked uh, radiometric dating, such as radiocarbon and potassium argon dating, uh, tried to prove that it was flawed. However, there's one kind of dating, which I think is pretty easy to understand, and that is dendrochronology. Everyone knows if you cut down a tree, you can tell how old it is by its growth rings. But what people may not realize, not all growth rings are the same width. They are affected by growth conditions. Therefore, if you have a sunny year with plenty of rain, growth rings are going to be wide. If it's a gloomy year or there's a drought, growth rings will be narrow. All trees in a given area, because they're exposed to the same growth conditions, will tend to have the same width of rings in a given year. These series of rings can establish something similar to a barcode that tells scientists exactly what year a tree laid down that ring. Therefore, they can look at a tree that's hundreds or even thousands of years old and tell exactly what year it began to grow and in what year it died. In some areas, in North America and Europe, lineages of trees have been established going back thousands of years before the universe was created. How can that be?